I uh, just wanted to let you know, we actually went ahead and wrote you a couple of questions if you wanted oh, to excellent. sort of go excellent. off of that. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah, Steve Wildsmith here with the Daily Times of Maryville, Tennessee, and these two are Blount County boys, so there's your local connection. Thank you for doing my job for me. Let's see, question one. Why are you guys so awesome? Uh, yeah. So you may remember uh, the Petro's filling station truck stop connected to the iron skillet is where we did our nacho episode the last time, which was glorious. Tim Gordon Ramsay's from me. While we were there uh, procuring the nachos, Nick stumbled upon uh, just a, uh, a megalodon of a food item that uh, would be the Don Miguel's The Bomb Beef Cheese Sauce and Bean with Green Chili's Burrito. Steve, how are you with uh, with spicy food or with burritos or Mexican food in general? How I love it. It's uh, I've, I'm a connoisseur. Uh, I grow some things in the backyard in the old garden, and right now I have a variety of spicy peppers that uh, I, I cannot wait to add to various culinary concoctions. Nice. Um, I just have to say, uh, you know, first and foremost, we got to give props to that microwave in uh, oh, the old Petros. I mean, nuclear. Yeah, it feels like we laid these burritos on the surface of the sun. The list of ingredients are gigantic. Steve pointed this out. The list of ingredients on this thing are like a Gideon Bible. It's like just some of the some of the key ingredients uh, that we that we've uh, that we've seen here: vinegar. Uh, and you smell it. Why the smell? Yeah. Why, why is there vinegar? vinegar in a freaking burrito? And like any gas station food, uh, your sodium content here. Eating this whole burrito is going to net you 88% of your daily God. sodium intake. <laughs> There's 1,060 milligrams per half oh in this God. burrito. We have a pretty significant hemorrhage. Had a rupture, on this yeah. And I got to give it props too. I'm a sucker for melted cheese, and as you can see Ooh. with mine, oh, wow, the oh, end. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I yeah. opened it up, and the cheese is all nice and bubbled out of there. I, you know, that, to me, that just that, that's, well. that, that's a comforting thing. And look at this; it's pretty much split all the way down, like a like a designer women's one piece swimsuit or something. <laughs> uh, these are going to be hotter than damn it. I'm pretty sure. All of the filling seems to have settled in the middle. Yeah, so that yeah. was mostly a Burp, uh, tortilla yeah. and cheese bite. But I do get flavors of peppers and uh, starting to catch up. A little vinegar. Sorry, I spit on you. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, did, I didn't even notice. So my first two bites were only cheese. I don't, I'm, I'm not into beans or anything. You know what? Yet. You guys started with the butt end, and I it started with the head end. That's got to be what it is. All right, I'm getting down to the business end. I mm. tore off this uh, the the, okay. the microwave hardened end here. Okay. And I see beef, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get into it. Steve sort of bit the tip off the cigar. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna be very honest here. I'm six bites in, and I still haven't got any beans or beef. Okay. I'm simply I'm chewing on the cheese, but I see it. Bust it out, flip it. Flip it. Yeah, yeah I can. It it's oh, oh, yeah. oh no, oh no. Oh, that's not good. One just, thing you want to keep in mind on this, though, this is definitely falling apart for all of us. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at Steve's. No. Steve's is like it's roadkill. I did find an actual bean. Hey! An bean actual pinto bean. Please don't drop that bean. No. <laughs> uh, was there an expiration date on these? Um, didn't look. Not that I see, no. Me neither. Okay. Yeah, there is. I think I tore through it. Well, okay, These right. burritos don't go bad, they go good. So, ladies and gentlemen, here at Gas Station Garbage, we rate everything on a super scientific scale of 1 to 10 Gordon Ramsay's based on taste, texture, price, and portability. With that said, we'll yield to the guest first, Mr. Wildsmith. To begin with, the taste. The taste ranks right up there. I think it's, uh, and there's nothing overwhelming about this burrito. You don't taste too much cheese or too much beef or too much beans or chilies or whatever. It's all nicely blended. Uh, the texture is, I think, uh, very palatable. It's not cat food. Uh, it does fall apart. You know, that's, if you're, over the road trucking, and you want a Big Don's uh, the bomb, then this is probably not going to transport well when you're behind the wheel. You know, uh, so I think probably overall on a scale of one to ten Gordon Ramsays, I would give it seven. Nice. I think that's very reasonable. I think I gave what three Gordon Ramsays to Tina's Big Burrito. They're about this. At least gets five, mm -hmm. and I'll explain why it doesn't get higher. Let me explain why why it deserves that first. Number one. 
composition, ingredients, far and above what Tina's is, right? Way better quality ingredients, a lot more in here. You can see the ingredients, you can see the beef, you can see the beans, the peppers, the cheese, all separately. It's not a big mishmash conglomerate of disgust. So that's awesome. Um, higher quality food for sure, higher quality ingredients. Where it falls off for me is a couple things. Number one, a little more expensive than Tina's, but understandably so, given the, given the quality. Now, the tortilla, very thin and falls apart. This is not something you can travel and eat with. I can't imagine any scenario where you're not, like if you're on the go, being able to eat this because it's literally just, it's disintegrated. So it gets points deducted for that. The other thing that really bugs me about this is it's like, the packaging is really toting the spice, mm. right? Oh, that's a it's good point. really, really, yeah. it's making a bold claim as to how spicy it is. Tina's was easily spicier much. than this. Again, the flavor was much better. The texture was much better. Uh, the packaging and the marketing is much better. We all had blowouts. The cost is great. Um, I could eat this uh, if I had to. I'll go six Gordon Ramsay's on this burrito. Yeah, far and away, much better than the Tina's offering that we tried uh, at the Pilot. Agreed. If, uh, if you like this video, if you're into it, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like it and want more, if you want us to pester you once a week when we get a new video, hit the subscribe button. You guys can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage. Also, it was a momentous occasion for gas station garbage last week. We got that custom URL on YouTube. So we're now at youtube.com forward slash gas station garbage. Please make sure to go like and subscribe all of our videos. It really helps us out. Very grateful for the invite. I've uh, been a fan since the beginning, so it's always good to come uh, be an actual part of the show. And uh, I look forward to telling more people in the Daily Times about gas station garbage. Steve Wildsmith, weekend editor at the Daily Times out of Blount County, Tennessee. Make sure to pick up a copy and check out his articles released every, every Thursday. Thursday. Always controversial, always entertaining. For Adam, Nick, Steve, it's been a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to turn on the air before we all stroke out. We'll see you next week. Thank you very much. See ya. Hey, perfect timing. <laughs>